Welcome to week 26 of my Training for a Living Challenge, where the goal is to make over $1,000 every single week selling options. And if you are brand new, the playlist is down below, which walks you guys through all the way back to week one weekly videos on the trades that I've been placing, conversations about the strategies I've been using, how I've adapted my trading strategy throughout the challenge and all that kind of good stuff. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe and let's get right into it. So month seven has been pretty difficult. So week 26, I made $570, which again is 45% behind. I only made $51. And the reason for that is I've been selling covered calls now, primarily on Tesla and Meta. And what's happened is at the start of 2023, Tesla and Meta started to rip up, which has gone above my cost basis which therefore i'm having to roll in the money call options here which is not the most ideal strategy especially if you're trying to generate weekly or monthly income so we'll walk through all those trades and what's going on and especially on tesla what's happened with tesla is i'm recording this in week 27 wednesday the 25th of january and tesla are releasing earnings after the close so i'm more than likely do my week 27 roll today before the market because if tesla have any bullish type of news then you know tesla again could continue to rise but the technical suggests that it's due to some sort of a pullback and hopefully the earnings are aligned with that correlation as well so we have a look at it here again even though the monthly goal is four thousand dollars the minimum monthly goal is two and a half thousand dollars just to cover the cost that i have and so far this month is the first month where i'm really struggling i'm behind target but you can see all the other months I've achieved over two and a half thousand dollars with last month being my highest. You know, this month of seven here has been the lowest because I'm in the water on my covered calls. So that has led me now back to 14% year to date. So from a nine to five perspective, we should be should have made 26.7, but I've only made 22.8 trading. So, you know, I'm not complaining with that with that amount to do that with only one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in capital is still a pretty good return. I have learned a lot through this process in terms of what I would do differently. And again, we can do all those type of reflection videos on this channel at some point. But again, you know, it's not taking a lot of time for me to place this trades. One thing that if you guys did watch last week's video is that my available balance has declined that only can mean I have placed another trade. So we'll walk through that as well in this section. So if we have a look at the trades, again, the screenshot is further to the right because I've got it for my new trade. So you'll see uh, the, the Tesla trade in the official trading screenshot as well. But you can see here that I've got the 114 call and I've been rolling the 114 call now for, for two weeks. And what I decided to do is take the hit, generate lower premium to roll my strike up. So. If we have a look at this, I've generated a $60 net credit across the three contracts. So that is what, $20, $20 per contract to get back another $100 in, in intrinsic value here. So I'm rolling up and out for a net credit, which is the key thing as part, as part of this process. So again, this is the lowest amount I've received selling Tesla. So we have a look quickly at the chart of Tesla. So we've got the four hour chart. And you can see here that I've got 300 shares at a cost basis of 28250. So long, long, long way away. So I've been selling covered calls below my below my cost basis. And ever since this down move, it's been very easy just to keep rolling my covered calls down. But at some point, it was going to come back, and this is kind of what's really happened. So I've got the 115 call, and Tesla's currently trading at 143.91. So as I mentioned earlier, Tesla do have earnings today. So more than likely, I will look to roll this position before earnings, because again, if Tesla starts making a move up, then I could be in a lot of trouble here. I'd be making zero premium or potentially negative premium to, to get myself out of this uh, situation. I knew that this was coming. I've said it through every single week that at some point this will happen. I thought I would have enough time. And that's one challenge about selling covered calls is that if the price moves quickly against you, especially doing weekly options, you the gamma increase the gamma risk increases significantly, which then causes a kind of challenge. But if you look at it from a technical perspective, we've got Tesla near near over overbought conditions. 
It's got one, two, three missed daily pivots. And you can see here now that it's actually hit its uh, monthly pivot for January. And when this pivot printed down here, you would think you'll never get here. So what I'm looking at is kind of this kind of move over here to knock out some of these daily pivots. So I could take the risk and risk it. Do I think Tesla are going to do good earnings? Probably they might have an EPS or revenue beat, but again, it will all come down to guidance. For those who listen to Microsoft's earnings, they missed their EPS and revenue number. And after hours, they shot up by 6% for two misses, which is absolutely strange. But then on their conference call, they gave out their guidance where their guidance predicted a lower revenue going forward for 2023 which then gave back all those gains and i think they're down by by by, by one or two percent so i don't really want to take that risk and it's gonna i'm not gonna make much money rolling it so i'll see where it plays out this morning see if we get a little bit of a pullback try to get a roll in and that's what i need to do for this particular position now, if we look at Meta, I did it in week, in week 25. I rolled it out to the end of February. I rolled it out from 97 to $100. And unfortunately, you know, Meta has just continued to go up. And look at this, this even blows through my cost basis strike here. And again, I've just, it's, it's missed its December monthly monthly pivot. And it's also missed its January monthly pivot. This has been an absolute beast run and if i go back to the crosshair and i take the low about here you can see it's gone up 60 percent since uh, since the low and it's just gone absolute beast mode and yeah it does have earnings wednesday the first and next wednesday a week away it has earnings as well but you know technically we are overextended here completely so we need to have some sort of a pullback into this situation over here so that's uh meta nothing really much that i can do there i've just gotta wait and hold through earnings and then see where see where life takes me so now if we go into the tesla we talked about this in week 25 i've not put another tesla strangle on which i said i would only reason is because of earnings so i'll be looking to hopefully put another tesla strangle on at some point to again pick up that additional premium but now i want to walk you guys through the uh, new trade that i've done and it's on a stock that you probably wouldn't expect me to trade, but it's on AMC. So I've done a strangle on AMC. And just so you can see over here, you've got your uh, Tesla position. If you guys want to check that one out. And then we've got the uh, 10 contracts on AMC that I've done. So what I've done is I've sold a strangle on AMC and I've sold 10 contracts selling the 23 call, which I think I went a bit too high on or conservative rather. And then I sold the, and that's meant to say three, three, not the 90. And then I sold the three put. Oh, the two put, sorry. I'm just looking down, down over here. I sold the two put for $410. So I made $510. And if you add that to the $60 that I made to Tesla, that's where we get the $570. So why did I do AMC? The reason I did AMC is because the implied volatility for AMC was still relatively high over the last 52 weeks and everything else either had earnings or had really low, really low vol volatility. So if I go down to here and I go to a weekly, I first show you the daily as this massive spike. I'm not really sure what it is because that's not the price action. So I'm just going to show the weekly chart on here just, just so you guys can see where, where everything is here uh, in terms of my strike. So I'm just ignoring this thing because that's not, I don't know if it's an issue with trading for you or something, but uh, AMC did not did not trade uh, at a low of uh, minus, uh, minus, uh, minus 0.2. So I don't think that's correct. Anyway, so you can see over here that my put strike's at three. Sorry, it's at two rather. I just... Uh, I don't know why, why I got two from. I think that's inside a, another trading account. Let me just update this very quickly. Two. Yeah. So the reason why I've selected this strike is you can see here when AMC did its massive pop up back in 2021. This is taking AMC back to its level prior to that official event. So I feel like I'm happy with the two strike. It's trading at 550. That's three. That's a three dollar move. For a five dollar stock 
that's quite a big move but we all know amc has got the potential to do that and then on the call side i've done the 23 strike as you got as you can see over here put a 22 call at 23 i probably could have rolled this into about you know at least at these highs here about the 17 18. so i might do that throughout the uh, duration of this trade and you'll see here that the expiration date i really apologize for the lack of uh ability inside here i think i was copying it from a from one of the meta or tesla ones and i've updated it so it is the march 17th expiration date so again we've got quite a bit of time left on this trade to pick up the 510 dollars what i'm expecting to do hopefully is is at least take out half of that position take that position off and so i can go into more lucrative stuff like a tesla strangle in there I do have four grand available. I might do an Apple strangle as well, which would probably be about 2K in buying power for me to put on the trade. And and yeah, that's the way I've worked on it. So again, I'm trying to diversify out, trying to come up with new trades to keep that income ticking along. And you know, a lot of a lot of my money is tied up into uh Tesla Tesla cash secure puts and, and meta as well. So these two are causing me big problems here that would release a lot of capital for me to start placing other trades i want to do more and more strangles and not and not to do the wheel strategy i think doing the wheel strategy as a trader trying to get income is probably not the best strategy it would have been easier for me to take the loss up front allowing me to recoup that doing some more cash secure puts and and i think i've gone pretty aggressively instead of diversifying so those are some things that i've learned throughout this process but we still crack on Again, still want it. Even if they're zero, I make zero. I still produce a video every single week for you guys. So I really hope you like that. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in the next video.